Hey everyone, Justine the Twilight Stamper and today I'm bringing you the three cards one stamp series featuring Simon Says Stamp Big Birthday Wishes and I'm going to be making three cards this week for you and showing you how to make them using just one stamp set. We're going to start off by making our card base. Now I cut out a piece of 11 by 4 and a quarter piece of cardstock and I'm using 110 pound Nina Solar White and I scored that at five and a half inches and made a top folding card. The next thing I did was grab a scrap piece of paper and this is 80 pound Nina Solar White. I used a bit of a thinner paper and I'm using the Stitch Rectangles die from Simon Says Stamp and I am putting that through my machine and cutting out a stitched border to use as a card panel for the front of the card. When I was finished I ran through that other piece that we had and I'm using the stitched tags and that's from My Favorite Things. All of my supplies are listed on my blog. I decided to make a hole on the top of the card so that I could string a ribbon through it. After that was finished, I decided to do some stamping. So I t looked at the stamp and I decided what was going to fit the best and I used the Celebrate stamp here. I attached it to my Fisker stamp press and I inked that up using Doll Pink ink from Simon Says Stamp. Remember when you're inking for the first time, you might want to stamp off on another sheet of paper, so make sure that you get a crisp image. Um, I didn't do that and it worked out fairly well for me, but just remember for new stamps, you need to do that. So I was happy with the way that it turned out, even with the white spots in the middle. I kind of liked the whole vintage look of that. Sometimes I like that and sometimes I end up redoing it. Just depends on the mood I'm in. And I decided to stamp one more thing um, on the bottom here and I decided to do a border of candles. And I had stamped these in mint ink and I had done three in the mint, two on the sides and one in the middle. And then I went in again and I stamped using the fog gray and I went in the middle and did that. And then using some distress ink, and this is the, must not the mustard seed, sorry, the squeezed lemonade. And I went in and I did the candles flames of that as well. Now it's time to decorate the actual card itself. So I took that card panel that we created that we had die cut earlier and I put a piece of washi tape on there and this is the gold ombre washi tape from Pinkfresh Studios. And if you had ordered the April sample or April kit from Simon Says Stamp this month, you would have that in your kit as well. So I had grabbed some 3D foam tape and I decided to add that to the back of the card and then add that to the card panel. To attach this I used the big mama roll of 3D foam tape from Simon Says Stamp. But before putting it down I decided to add this star embellishment because I wanted to add something there that was ribbon but I didn't have any gold ribbon or pink ribbon that would really go with this. So I just um, used this brad here to, that was came in the April card kit and added that to my card. And I thought that was a nice little accent to accent the washi tape on there as well. Then I added some 3D foam tape to the card panel that we had cut out and added that to the card base that we had made in the beginning that we had sitting off to the side there. And so I did like a white on white look for this card and I really loved the way that it turned out. It turned out quite feminine and pretty and I like it a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this card tutorial today and thank you so much for watching Three Cards One Stamp and I'll be back on Wednesday for another video.